Hey Hope. Hey Tom, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm all right. Good. It's a bit windy, isn't it, out here? It is. It's nice, though. Good to be out in the garden. <laughs> I can't be inside when the weather's like this. I <sighs> can't. It's so nice. It's so nice. How are you keeping? Are you keeping busy? Yeah, keeping really busy, actually. I've actually got more work on now than before lockdown, <laughs> which is absolutely wild. What about you? Yes, that's mental. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to keep busy. Like, it's great having the shows, being able to do them at home. Uh, yeah. I've been doing quizzes for the family and friends. I saw you saying to Noah how difficult it is planning quizzes every single week. It is. It's a nightmare. <laughs> we do our family one on a rotor. Oh, that's good. Turns. Every time it comes around to you, you're like, oh, no. <laughs> I done mine on, um, what day was it? Saturday, I done mine. But I left it till Friday to actually write it. It's Which stressful. was a rookie error. Yeah, it is. It is. I, I regret, I mean, I love doing it, but I regret the responsibility of doing it every single week. I kind of wish yeah. we had a rotor. So what else have you been doing to stay entertained? Uh, well, to be honest, not a great deal. I've been trying to get outside as much as I can. Um, as you mentioned, the weather's gorgeous. So I've been doing a bit of cycling. I'm down in Dorset at my mum's house at the moment. So we're about 20 oh, minutes nice. away from the beach. So I've been going for walks along the beach. So that's been really nice. How have about you yourself? noticed a difference oh. in how busy the beach has got? since lockdown's eased yeah it's been crazy um yeah. you know I, I used to go a couple of weeks ago i'd go for a walk and it'd be silent there'd be no one there mm -hmm. but uh, but now there's loads of people there the litter is the thing that really upsets me there's so much litter people just leaving stuff yeah. on the beach it's mental i think people were just i mean let's be honest the british public um like going out in swarms when it gets sunny as it is um but obviously with lockdown and things as well i think people are just going out more than normal aren't they yeah they're just like do what I want now. Exactly. No, you're absolutely right. Which I'm not sure, I'm not sure how great that is. No. But hey ho, let's let's hope we all stay safe. Yeah, exactly. Um, you asked what I've been doing to stay entertained. Well, I've been um, I've been listening to some podcasts. I've discovered um, a new one from the producer of Radio One Extra's Breakfast Show with Dotty and with Dotty. So it's Dotty and Robbie, and it's called Too Rude for Radio. And basically, it's it is rude. Like when they say too rude, it's like explicit. But it's all the things they can't talk about on. BBC Breakfast. That so sounds amazing. It's, it's really funny. Um, and they have people like sending messages in and the conversations are just wild. Um, so I'd recommend that one. That sounds great because a lot of the time when, I, um, when I'm when i planning my shows for Vibe, I kind of find things online and I think, that's really entertaining, but yeah. I don't think I can say that on the radio. <laughs> that sounds really cool. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Um, and it's nice to hear from, like, I've discovered a new producer, Robbie. Like, I didn't know who he was, but that's it's a nice conversation because they're friends as well. Like, you, you see that element. Have you been reading much? Because I um I don't really read that often, but I got a couple of books for Christmas, and I've kind of yeah. I've realised that I can spend this time just getting through them, just finally reading them. So I read um, Elton's autobiography a couple of weeks ago, oh, which John. I loved. Yeah, I really loved it. What for connection? Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, I've I've got through two books already. Um, I mean, I can't remember the names of them to be, to be honest with you, but um, they were really good. I quite like um, like crime kind of novels. I don't know why, but that's kind of my little niche. No. Um, but I have just started reading this one. Mum and Dad is where I'm at at the minute in Norfolk. So many books everywhere. Um, so many records, so many CDs, so many DVDs. Um, and I just picked this one up from, I think, just Dad's bedroom floor. It was just laying there. Um, so I started this one. It's American. Apparently it was $1 when he brought it. Um, bargain. So bargain. <laughs> so I started reading this one. I'm only a couple of, page, like, couple of chapters in. Um, the only thing that does annoy me about it is there isn't any um, punctuation when people are talking, like speech marks. Yeah, don't like that. And that's put me, that's that's a little bit difficult to get your head around. Yeah. But other than that, it's been quite good so far. And I think it's going to be one of those where it's different lives that intertwine, which I quite like them. Nice. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So you're, tell me a bit, bit more about your family quizzes. How have they been? They've been... They've been good. I mean, my first one, I'd done it all around the family. So they were like different sections, like, who said this? And it would be like pinnacle moments from family gospel where someone said something and it's gone down in history. Like, for example, one Christmas morning, my mum and dad both woke up, still drunk from the night before, and my mum called my dad a Christmas nerd. So that is in the family gospel now. Um, so I've done one of them. And then there was other questions, um, like, how much do you care? Who done this? Um, some different questions like that. But since then, um, that, that quiz was quite easy, my first one. They got the answers quite quickly. So this week, when I'd done my other one, I made it hard. Do you want to go at it, Tom? Yeah, go on then. Let's give it a go. Go on then. Let's give so it I had go. different rounds. Um, I'm not going to go through the family rounds because, quite frankly, you don't know my family. I won't have a clue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll do the music round because you should be good at that. Okay, all right. As should I. And maybe people who are watching this can comment below if they could guess the answer before you do. Definitely. Hey ho. Right, so number one. 
What song is currently at number one in the UK charts? Oh. I'll give you a point for the song and a point for the artist. I don't think I know that, but I f have a feeling it may be Rain On Me. Who sings it? By Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. Yes! Is it? Yeah, it actually no is. No way, because well I know that's just so come two out. two points. Yeah. Oh, great. And I haven't seen the video yet, but people oh, are saying big things about it. Yeah. Um, okay, next question. Sam Smith had to do what for the first time due to lockdown? Oh. Sam Smith, mega famous. I reckon it's got to be something like they had to cut their own hair. Uh -uh. <sighs> had to clean his own toilet for the first time in his life. Ever? That is how the rich and famous live. Don't even know how to clean a toilet yet. Wow. wow. Okay. Last one for you. Where in the UK is the rapper H from? H. The only H I know is H from Steps. That's what my mum says. <laughs> Come on, Me and Tom, your get with the time. Your mum and I like this. <laughs> He's a rapper. I'll give you a clue. Do okay. you want a clue? Yeah, please, yeah. He's nicknamed a lot um, Arkid. Oh. I don't even know where that comes from. Is that like a Scouser <laughs> thing? Is that Liverpool? <laughs> <laughs> H. He just did a song with AJ Tracy. I had I haven't got a clue. Like Newcastle, Manchester. <laughs> Tom, do your homework. Come on. Oh no! One out of three. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah. You got you got one point. You two points. Two points because you got the song and the artist. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. Great. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nightmare. I need to go and swap <laughs> up on my general knowledge. That was shocking. <laughs> your music knowledge, Mr. Music Radio knowledge. Presenter. Yeah, I know, that's appalling. <laughs> <laughs> How have you found doing your shows from home? It's been, I've enjoyed it. It's not the same as being in the studio. I, I really miss being in the studio um, and just being live with the desk and the mic and everything. There's, there's, yeah. no, um, there's no alternative to that, really. I miss the beds. <laughs> yeah, I miss, I miss the, the beds. beds. If people are watching this who aren't in the radio world, the beds is the little music in the background. You can't do it when you're yeah. home. No, you can't you do it well home, anyway. You can't no, do it. No, you need the little. Yeah. Yeah. So I miss that as well, and dancing around like a fool. Yeah. Turning the the volume up when you've got a good song. Cranking the volume up in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. When you do when I'm doing the cheeky seven pm till nine pm on a Monday that show and no one else is in the studio. I do whack it up. That's the one. Really. That's the one. I'm the same on Tuesdays Don't and Thursdays. Don't tell the bosses. <laughs> <laughs> if the speakers are blown, it was not me. No. It, it was you, Tom. I found it like that. I just found it like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't wait to be back, though. It's going to be so, it's going to be so nice to see the rest of the team. Yeah. Um, like It's lovely see, seeing everyone over Zoom and stuff like that, but it's not the same, is it? It's not the same. But I must say, since um, lockdown, I've been doing a lot of the social media for Vibe. Um, and it's been such a good opportunity to get to know everyone because it's it's really weird in the studio you don't cross paths with a lot of people do you? No you don't and if you do it's the same people each week so it's been a really nice opportunity for me to get to know everyone and I would like to plan like a vibe get together maybe at O'Neill's near Watford Junction I think we should do once, that once it's all um definitely yeah. that'd be great I think it would be super nice to yeah. get everyone together. Yeah, 100%. Let's do it. Yeah. Make it happen. But it's been nice to see you today, obviously. Yeah, and you, and you. It's been <laughs> lovely. I'll, um, I'll leave you to sit in the garden. It looks lovely out there. Yeah, I'm going to go jump in the sun. I'm sick of the shade. Yeah, get in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Great see to you see later, you, Hope. Tom. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. Bye.